A.R. Williams, Real Overcomers Church. He just got done preaching the gospel according to Trump. <laughs> he sat there and preached a whole sermon. about Trump and preaching Trump's lies and conspiracy theories. A whole hour and a half, two hours sitting there preaching Trump lies and conspiracy theories. <laughs> that man that is full of lies first of all he just like a, other, a lot of other pastors apostles the Bible only records 12, 13 apostles 14 including Christ yet he called himself an apostle Where are these people getting this stuff from? I'm a apostle. My wife is an evangelist. Now, his wife is what? Elder? Well, elder evangelist. Yeah, my wife is an elder. <laughs> he believes Kenneth Copeland is a man of God. What's wrong with these conservative preachers? People in the come and says, go ahead, apostle. Go ahead, pal. You preaching the truth. You preaching the truth. And, uh, is that really the truth? One-sided preaching? Is that the truth? It's the truth that y'all want to hear. It's the truth that you support it. Because y'all are conservatives. Y'all are Republicans. So, of course... You gonna say he preaching the truth? Of course you gonna agree with it. Y'all people don't care nothing about the Bible. It's true they eating dogs and cats in Ohio. I talked to somebody from the Haitian country. He said that's what they use to sacrifice them. Then they eat. Them. If they eat them, do you have proof that they are eating dogs and cats in Ohio? That might be their culture back home. But, but, you're trying to fix Trump up and make Trump look good and look right when Trump didn't have no evidence. Just like Trump didn't have no evidence that he was cheated. Like he claimed he was. We can't go on conspiracy theories when they favor who you support. Trump bounced around uh, Arizona, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Georgia. I was cheated. I was cheated. Never presented any shred of evidence. They gave him time. How long are we supposed to hold up election? If Trump had his way, the election would still be held up, just like he holding up them cases in court now. This is that's the way he do does business. Trump had made a career out of holding stuff up in courts. Breaching contracts. Doing illegal stuff. Then tied up in courts. <laughs> That's what y'all support. I'm supporting the policies. The policies. And, and that man sitting there consistently preach a bunch of lies. And y'all just eat that stuff up. Neither party is perfect. What you mean about that? Neither party, both parties. He finally, he finally said neither party, both parties a long way from holding. But, but we got to, then you're still trying to twist it. You're not justified, Pastor. You're not justified. <laughs> you're not justified in trying to preach Trump. You're going to preach against 
the Democratic Party. You're going you're gonna to preach against Project 2025. You call that a lie when you sit there and admit it that you didn't even read it. Black folks don't read I didn't even read it. You, so you're trying to preach stuff and preach against stuff that you don't know about. It just show you how wicked the conservative preachers are. You're going to try to preach and speak against stuff that you don't know nothing about. You don't got information by word of mouth. You don't went and found the information that you want to hear and you want to see and you pushing that on the people. <laughs> It's a conspiracy. Project 2025 is just a, a Republican opinion based. Blah, 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 blah. But, 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 but the Democrats are pushing their thing. <laughs> Hypocrite. Liar. Lying pastors. Is exactly what's going on at World Overcomers in Upper Room. Y'all trying to condemn everybody for voting for the left or the Democrats. But you're trying to justify yourself voting for the right conservatives. Who is justified? <laughs> Who is justified? None. None. None is justified. You can't take that Bible and justify it, no matter how you try. Democrats, if you want to step away from, we're going to step away from the Bible. We have to say Democrats have good policies and bad policies. Conservatives have some good policies and bad policies. The conservative policies is always aimed to squeezing out the poor. It's always aimed to making the poor suffer. That's enough right there. Y'all want to talk about abortions. Democrats, well, the conservatives don't want to pass laws restricting gun rights. Ain't that a backdoor murderer? Ain't this backdoor murderer? Assisting in murder? Of course it is. Christians, I got a right to bear arms. I got the right to possess. So you saying you got a right to kill yourself? I mean, to kill people in the eyes of self defense? That ain't what the Bible say. <laughs> ain't what the Bible say. <laughs> Jesus said, "You, if you take a life trying to defend your life, you not you you not saved." In other words, he said, "Read the book of Matthew in the Gospels." He talked about that. Trying to save your own life. If you save, your life is in God's hand. How is you justified for running around with a side piece? Talking about personal protection. It's okay to have a knife, but you better not use it. The Bible don't give you an avenue to use it. Unless you're going out there hunting you some food. Guarantee you don't hear this coming out of conservative preachers. <laughs> Sitting out there, they're preaching a whole sermon about Trump. Don't worry, he'll be back Wednesday night. <laughs> Democratic preachers, nor the Republican preachers, are justified. You openly supporting. Either party, just face it. We are disobeying the Bible, mainly for participating in voting. Voting was in the Bible, but yeah, but what the Bible tells us to stay away from the affairs of this world is not beneficial for the believers. Let the world do what they do. See all this stuff on YouTube and so all these podcasts debating biblical subjects, people getting hot. On both sides, women out of place, anger stirring up, 
the conservatives are glorified and pushing this mess because they are pushing Trump. They are being paid. They want to talk about the Democrats being paid to endorse Harris and all. They are being paid too. Anybody with a platform that have ample amount, ample amount of followers, subscribers, they are getting kickback. They are getting financial support. That's both sides. Both sides. <laughs> Both parties are wicked. Neither one is close. Well, I'm going. I'm voting for the part for the part party that policies are closer to the Bible. So, really, that's the excuse. Is that the excuse? Will that fly in the eyes of God? No, it won't. No, it won't. Republican policies are always geared against the poor. Their policies are always geared against God too. The Republicans hide behind lies. Donald Trump been married three, third wife. Got a case of fundicated Stormy Daniels. Sexual assault, all sorts of stuff, vulgar mouth, disrespect, flat out curse Mike Pence out on a numerous occasions, despise Mike Pence right today because he's certified to vote. Wonder why the wonder why the conservative preachers won't talk about that. Ask Williams. How he feel about Mike Pence? Ask Wooden how he feel about Mike Pence. Ask any conservative preacher, do they feel like Mike Pence did the right thing? Trump had plenty of opportunities to present evidence of fraud. Did he do it? Arizona, did he do it? Wisconsin, did he do it? Michigan, did he do it? George, did he do it? Conspiracy theories. <laughs> conspiracy theories what he wants to be ill. And they preaching them conspiracy theories. The Democrats was doing abortions at their convention outside the event. Any proof? I'm not saying it's not, I'm not saying y'all not right. Any proof? That stuff circular circle circulated around the conservative platforms. Nobody provided any proof. Nobody. Nobody provided any proof of abortions being performed in their van outside the DNC. Meanwhile, the RNC, where was at? Milwaukee. They welcome atheists. They welcome Hindus with open arms. They welcome racists with open arms. It don't matter if they Hindu. It don't matter if she ate it. As long as they support Trump, whatever benefits Trump, that's what they with. That's what they want. Whatever benefits Trump. <laughs> they mad that the people are supporting Harris. And they mad that Trump embarrassed himself on national TV again. Y'all remember him on there telling people, to ingest Lysol. He actually thought he was saying something smart. The people were looking like, what? What? Oh, y'all took that out of content. Well, the people that make the stuff didn't take it out of content because they issued a statement refuting what Trump said. <laughs> they eating cats and dogs. Just repeated what somebody told him to say with no proof. Well, see, Trump was right. I, I know he was right because I talked to somebody from Haiti. That's what they do. They sacrifice animals, and then they eat them animals and stuff. Okay, that might be true in their country. Who don't eat ducks? 
but do you have proof that they are killing people pets casting dogs and eating them in some countries they do eat dogs and cats even in America bobcats some people eat certain type of canine I don't eat them I don't eat dogs and cats but some people do but to try to paint them people as being barbaric and doing stuff that uncivilized stuff like that when you have actually no proof of it then what they say about you then you get on the pulpit and repeat that stuff you repeat that foolishness what they say about you pastor what they say about you don't stand on no doctrines of Christ don't stand on no doctrines of Christ <laughs> if you did then your wife wouldn't be wearing that title of an elder you wouldn't be wearing the title of apostle well they're apostles fivefold apostles yeah Paul said ordained bishops Paul said ordained bishops calling yourself apostle and standing in the pulpit every Sunday don't make you an, don't make you an apostle are you going out to other countries I've been seeing in the news lately certain islands certain places people been trying to go and bring God bring take them for Jesus they get killed as soon they step on their land step out, off the water what these apostles in America doing are they doing that Apostle A.R. Williams ain't never been known for going even outdoors in the streets of Memphis preaching the gospel. I ain't never heard. I'm from Memphis. I grew up in Memphis. I never heard them being out there. I never seen anything. How far do the apostleship go? From house to church? And that's it? They're, they're reciting Kenny Copeland. <laughs> they're cruel. Do this man have any truth in him? He got the truth. He got truth. I give him that. He got truth. The conservatives have truth. They just decide what they want to sit on. Donnie Swagger. It's a sin not to vote. Vote for Trump. Y'all don't vote and the wrong people get in, get in the office. You have nothing to complain about. Why are you pushing one side of politics? If the other side can push it, I mean, if y'all can push it, why can't the other side? Abortion. Y'all vote for Kamala Harris. Y'all supporting abortion. Y'all support. Is it possible that people might have other reasons to vote Democratic? It's not possible. If they vote, so it's only they according to the Republicans, the only reason people are voting for Kamala Harris is because they support abortion and gender realignment and stuff like that. I guess y'all never heard of uh, uh intersex. How about y'all tackle them issues, conservatives? What about the intersex people? I know y'all have seen them shows. Y'all have seen Born This Way, such that. People are born without rectums. People are born all sorts of ways. So y'all call that a lie too? People are born with two different sex organs. Same sex organ. None at all. No arms, no legs, no toes. Half a head, two heads, conjoined twin. All sorts of ways. So it's not possible that a person can be born sexually twisted on the inside in outside okay I look like a man I might uh, but I'm actually a woman I might look like a woman but I'm actually it's that's 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 absolutely not possible at all when we see this stuff people are born with just a head and a, and a uh, upper body torso <laughs> I mean, I ain't laugh. I'm sorry. I mean, like, oh, is it true? 
it's no way possible that people, it's a spirit, it's a, yeah, it's a spirit, sexual, but, but I believe it's a spirit on most cases, but we live, in, we live in a world where we see genetics, we see all sorts of birth, we see all sorts of things. Eggs not separating right. That's where you get conjoined twins. We had that testimony. Them two old uh, ladies, Abby, whatever, there's been, no, they're still together. Yeah, but they married one man, one married, but they can join for the rest of their life. So that's a lie. That's a lie. Y'all quit following these conservative preachers. <laughs> I'd much rather follow Democratic preachers. Why? They don't have behind lies. They don't have behind the lies. They just tell you it's front who they voting for and what they support. The conservative, they deceitful. Uh 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 uh. But that guy over there in North Carolina, conservative preacher, that got busted about two years ago now, him and his wife and their boyfriend. He's the son of uh, 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 the late, the founder of that college over there, Liberty University. That's what the conservatives do. They'll preach against stuff and say they're against things, but behind closed doors, in privacy. <laughs> I'm against homosexuality. I'm against lesbianism. At home, they be wearing dresses. Men be wearing dresses. Wives be dressed up like men, having boy girlfriends. <laughs> they do that. That's what they are. I'm against abortions. They fly out the country and have abortions. Take their daughters out the country, have abortions. Come back. I'm against abortion. <laughs> A.R. Williams started preaching live. Bring a nation back to God. Bring the nation. The Bible. How you build a pastor and you preaching that? Ain't salvation a personal thing? I ain't seen nowhere, well, in the Old Testament, bring the nation of Israel back to God. But Jesus came with a new covenant. Believe the gospel and be believe, and be saved. Salvation is a personal thing. Examine yourself. See where you be in the faith. Ain't nothing about this world going to be saved. The, the Bible say, the Bible say, the world is already condemned. Bring a nation. You, salvation is a personal thing. You ain't going no, you're not going to heaven or hell depending on a body or a nation or people. You're going to heaven or hell depending on your personal salvation. Come on. Y'all quit falling for this foolishness. You right, Pastor. You right. All I heard that man preaching was a bunch of junk. I said, who are you? Nobody. Who are you? Nobody. <laughs> Just like he ain't. Nobody. Bishop Wooden. A nobody. How y'all vote for Kamala Harris and Democrat when they stand for a boy? They stand for a How y'all vote for Donald Trump in the Republican when they stand for starving out poor people? When they stand for blocking everything that will benefit people? Huh? Huh? It's the thing they don't do. It's not necessarily all the things that one side do. You got to look at the things that the other side don't do. Both on what they do and don't do. The Republicans stand and block bills. They always have been doing that. That will benefit people. They only consider the rich. That's who they work for. That's enough to ruin the. Rep that's enough to get the Republicans right there. They fighting these bills right now about stricter gun laws. They fighting that on behalf of the NRA. They don't want stricter background. They don't want no re regulation, no regulations on guns. They want people better to go and buy high capacity magazines and these look. Um, uh, mutant armies around the country can do uh, whatever they want 
in the name of freedom and justice and y'all don't tackle them issues. Y'all won't tackle them issues. You go to these gun and night shows that they have all across the state every other weekend, especially out across Arkansas, Mississippi, Louisiana, Alabama, gun and night show. Don't you know how much illegal activity go on with them gun and night shows and them conservative folks? Y'all will tackle them issues. 